Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. We are almost at 100 videos. Oh my gosh. We're kind of excited, but also it's kind of bittersweet, right? Because that means we've been quarantined for almost 100 days. Wow. So if you don't know, we're the Quarantine Gardeners. This is our daily video log of us accomplishing projects in our garden while under quarantine. And thank you so much for being here and watching today, you guys. We really appreciate it. And for any of you that are new to our channel, go ahead and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. So guys, today we're out here. We're going to take cuttings of our new rosemary plants. We want to have more rosemary plants, so we're going to take cuttings off these two different kinds that we have here that we bought this spring. And you get to be a part of that. You get to see how we're gonna do it. I mean, more rosemary plants. It sounds awful, right? Oh yeah, terrible awful. problem, terrible problem to have. So if you followed along with our shows, you know that we've done a lot of lavender cuttings and we filmed two different updates on that video to show you the progress along the way. You might've also seen us take our mint cuttings too, which was a previous episode. So guys, to take the cuttings of our rosemary plants today, you're gonna need hand snips or pruners. You're gonna need rosemary plants with new healthy growth and you're gonna need seed starting soil or some type of rooting soil, and we'll show you more about that in a minute. You're also gonna need root hormone because rosemary plants need a little extra help getting those roots developed and growing. The other thing we forgot to mention is you're gonna need something to dip um, your cuttings in. You need a little dish of water. You need to make sure the cuttings are moist before you dip them in root hormone. And again, we'll show you how to do that. And we love Espoma. We're using a Espoma organic seed starter mix, which is great for cuttings and seeds. Yep, and we actually did a little research beforehand. Yes, this soil is perfect for rooting our rosemary cuttings because it's got high organic matter in it and it's got perlite, which is this little white stuff all throughout it. And you're going to need some type of potting mix with either perlite or what's called vermiculite, which is very similar to perlite except very, very tiny ground. But for our purposes here, it is, this is perfect. And you also need soil that is well draining. And this has all of those characteristics. Okay, so. Sean, so what's the first step? We've got our lab ready and set up. So, okay, so the first step is, is get all your pots together, fill them with the soil, get them to about this level, leave a little bit of room, because when you, when you displace the soil, you're going to need to have that room to displace it, to put the cutting in and then actually bury it. And we'll go ahead and we'll just make some holes in here and make sure they're prepped. First off, we're gonna take from Blue Spires Rosemary. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna find some really nice new growth, and you can see it's nice and new because it's it's not hard wood. It's got this light color to it, and you can see it's all one color going up here, and that's another way to see that it's new, newer growth. It's got a lighter coloring to it. If you look down below here, you'll see more woody types of tissue, and you know that's the older tissue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here and we're gonna cut as as long a piece as we can. There we go. We're gonna strip all this off because we need to expose this part of the stem so it can go underneath the, the soil level and we don't want these leaves underneath the soil. So do that. It's real easy to do this, by the way. So we'll do that. We might, I see some more woody tissue right there. I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna do that. And just for, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna expose some of the, the other tissues there. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna dip it in the water, and then I'm gonna dip it in the root hormone. And then you just tap that off there, get the excess off, and then we're gonna stick this in here like this. We're gonna get this all situated in here. There we go. That's cutting number one. And I got my second cutting. I'm gonna strip all these off, get those off of there. I'm gonna recut a little bit of this because you can see this is a little bit woodier than we'd like. Here's some more softer tissue. So I'm gonna cut that right there. Maybe strip a little bit more of this one off. This will be a smaller cutting here. I'm gonna expose a little bit more of that cambium tissue. And then we're gonna come over here and dip it in the water. And we'll dip it in the rooting hormone. Tap, tap, tap. In the hole it goes and bury that stem. Get her planted. You can see I'm using my one hand to steady the cutting at first to get it in the hole and get that soil around that stem. We don't want to displace too much of the rooting hormone.
So those now we have six new rosemary cuttings to take care of and our next step will be to move them out of the direct sunlight into our greenhouse and we'll take care of them in there. So we'll be watching these cuttings for the next two or so weeks and in that time they should root. Um, it can take upwards in cooler climates from four to eight weeks. So we're gonna see what happens and you'll be able to see it too because we'll update you. If you have any questions for us about how we took those cuttings or any of the products we used, go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'll link the rooting agent and our dram watering wand that you saw in the video down in the description in case you want to find the same products. And guys, Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our newest videos. And that's a wrap for today, you guys. Till then, guys, we'll see you later. See you tomorrow, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.